Hello everybody out there. I would like to take the time on this beautiful day to invite you all on a journey to leave humanity behind. I'm W. Whitlock Fitness and this is my story. Good fucking morning. Look at that weight. Just a hair shy of 200 today. Weight's actually down from yesterday. I was 201.1 yesterday. And this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're looking at today. Man, it is cold as fuck out there. Look at that. It sure is a nice, nice, beautiful looking day. As you can see, we got some dog shit right there. Letting us know it's going to be a shitting fucking workout. Yeah, lovely day out for a stroll. And of course, a lovely day for a dog to take a shit right outside of my window. So thank you, base dog. I'll be sure to squeeze you whenever I see you. Okay guys, it's almost time for the gym. That means it's time for our pre-workout meal. And what we got, we kind of got the usual pumpkin puree. Two cups of Greek yogurt. I'm going to put some Walden Farms pancake syrup in that bitch. Because I have some left over. Some of these frozen triple cherries. I think I put these in my last video, but it's basically three different blends of cherries from Costco, which are really good. Um, I'll defrost them by just putting them like in the shaker cup right there, and then putting them in, in some hot water for like a minute or two, and then I'll drain it, and then I'll just pump it in here, and you know, they're, they basically come out like fresh fruits. It's really good to have in my yogurt. And then the flavor of choice today, we've got some butterscotch going on here. I was just about to eat my pre-workout meal here and uh, oh, oh shit, you weren't, you weren't supposed to see that, what the fuck is that? Um, so I was just uh, in, the, in the middle, <clears throat> excuse me, I was just in the middle of watching my boy uh, Dalton and JR train arms on their new video here. Um, so yeah, it was, um, as you see, I had, had a good bit of fun here, I guess. Um, well, anyways, now that we're, we're talking about the subject, just go check out my boy, Brewer, Brewer Fitness, Dalton Brewer's channel, and of course, you know, J.R. Barthel, so, um, tell me, tell me how long you lasted. I, I lasted about, uh, four minutes into this video. Hello, and welcome to another autism-infused workout by yours truly. Here, I recorded my AMRAP set of 210 with bench. I did four sets of five with 210 previous to this. Um, ended up getting uh, 10 reps with this. Um, probably could have gone for an 11th, possibly a 12th, but even for the AMRAPs, I kind of want to keep things at around an RPE of nine. I don't really want to go to complete failure, um, just my kind of thing, because on this current program, I'll be doing AMRAPs basically every week for the, um, comp for the big three. And then here we have me doing some o OHPs. I did three sets of eight, or three sets of nine, excuse me, with uh, 125 here. Um, as you can see, got my, I apologize for my GH gut getting in the way here. It's kind of obstructing the view of everything else, but damn, that GH gut is looking good. And here we follow that up with some dumbbell incli incline presses as our assistants work for the day. Again, really focusing on squeezing that that weight up with dem der pectoral muscles. I did two sets of eight. I think I get eight here, so I'm going to increase that to two sets of nine the next workout, keeping things simple. And here I have my squat AMRAP that I did earlier in the week. So I threw the squat and deadlift AMRAPs in here um, for you guys to check them out. Um, here you'll see that I'm starting to, um, as per the advice that Mr. Joe Sullivan gave me, I'm starting to break at my hips. I believe that's what it's called, breaking out your hips um, prior to actually descending. You see right there um, that little bit of, I think that's called hip hinge. I don't know the fucking term terminology very well, but anyways, I'm doing that because that's what Joe said to do for my squats, and they did go a lot smoother. So you can see I managed to pull out 10 reps of 365 here. Um, they felt nice and powerful. I'm, I'm still going a um, good bit below parallel with these squats, so everything felt good earlier in the week for these. And then I followed that up with some deadlifts as well, which you'll be seeing here shortly. Um, these, you know, just really hard to keep everything tight, but 
especially whenever you get up to those higher reps, um, I got, you know, pretty out of breath and tomato faced during these, but hey, it was, it was, it was good stuff. And again, RP was probably closer to nine than the 10 here. And then here we have some deadlifts. Uh, you see I reset during every rep. So again, this ended up being quite the cardio session. I got 10 reps of here with 415. Resetting every time, taking a big breath at the top and then staying tight, uh, bracing against my belt as I go down. Just grab the bar and fucking rip that shit off. Um, I think one of, the, one of the big problems that I had with with doing these deadlifts was trying to tighten my lats up at the bottom of the lift where um, just really focusing, I, I think I was really focusing too much on getting those lats tight and getting my hips kind of in the proper position and everything. Um, whenever, what I really need seemed to need, have needed to do is just shut the fuck up and rip the damn bar off the ground. So kind of getting back to that here and um, just really trying to lift with a little bit of adrenaline like kind of like how I used to whenever I first got into weightlifting at 16 years old, you know, just fucking get angry at the weights and fuck some shit up. So definitely feels great getting back into that kind of mentality, you know, even if it may just be for uh, these AMRAP sets, which I'm basically doing each training session, at least, um, let me see, I think four out of my six days a week because um, something like that. But yeah, I mean, it feels great even if it's just for one set. I think that's still not um, not going to be stressful enough to kind of fuck with uh, my recovery because my overall volume is actually going to be pretty low on these. So just a, really a, a good thrill to um, kick things off with. Here post-workout, I just had my push day. Um, hit two, 210 for a uh, set of 10 for my AMRAP today, so I'm pretty impressed about that. Um, just here at my favorite post-workout place, or it's not really my favorite, but it's decent. Uh, Chipotle, just going to go in and grab a something to grab real quick. Um, as you can see, it's fucking packed, and I had to actually wait to get a parking spot here. It's fucking ridiculous, but um, I'm going to go in, grab a bowl real quick, and going to head home and get that bitch in me, no homo, and we'll hit up some feeder workouts afterward. All right, back from Chipotle, I got a bowl with brown rice, pinto beans, um, I got double protein because I'm all out of, I'm all out of cooked meat, but look at this shit. I got 20 pounds of fucking frozen chicken breast from Costco. I'm just been too lazy to cook it. So anyways, I got double meat here. I got carnitas and chicken. Um, and that's it. I didn't get any sour cream or, or cheese. Um, just because my fats for today are nearly spent, I think, or this will probably put it put it close to enough because of all the carnitas and stuff and I, I usually follow up my last meal of the day with a big thing of oats which the fat from that kind of adds up to but my macros right now are still 70 grams of fat 670 grams of carbs and 260 grams 265 grams of protein so that's kind of remained constant and I'm still staying nice and lean seeing some slow and steady progress from that so here we got with my bowl I'm gonna weigh it so then I can um, kind of see uh, how much they, they cheapskated me, or maybe they add a little extra, we'll find out, according to the nutrition calculator. And then, as you see, I got this big old bowl of Tupperware, and I got my bowl. I'm just going to say, fuck Chipotle's little small-ass bowls, and just pour it all in that bitch. Like, uh, you'll see uh, my buddy Dalton also does the same thing. I, I do this for like all my foods. I get a big fucking bowl, and then I get a spoon. Here, here we go. Oh, I didn't wait, actually. I'll get a spoon, I'll just eat it like that. I'm not, I don't fucking have time to be worrying about spilling things, trying to carefully scoop everything out of this thing. Fuck that. That thing is too small to get shit flying all over the floor. I look like a damn pigsty. But what we got here, you can't really see, it says 1.4, 1.4.4, I fucking hate this thing, whenever it goes over a pound, it's hard to read. So it's a pound and 4.4 ounces, so it's 20.4 ounces. What I'm going to do, take this over here, 
to my desk, to my feeding, designated feeding area, not to be confused with my feeder workout area, which I'll demonstrate later. So a typical, um, I calculated everything that I got on Chipotle's website here. Um, the, so the typical serving size is 19.5, and what did we say that was? That was um, 20.4, so it's actually pretty accurate. Um, I think I'm just basically going to go with these macros then. If anything, I'll cut the protein back, because it says 66 grams of protein. Guys, look at this shit. That does not fucking look like 66 grams worth of meat in there from protein to me. So I'm going to say, like, 55 grams of protein. Um, what we got for fats here? 25.5. Um, so I'll just say, like, 20, 26. I'm not going to deal with half half a fucking gram of fat, 61 carbohydrates, so I'll say like 70 grams of carbs and 55 grams of protein instead and then keep fats the same. So just have that bowl of Chipotle and I need uh, about 100 more grams of carbs for this meal. So I got these, I just want to show you guys these if you've never seen them, they're from Costco. These Kraft macaroni and cheese, um, they're j they just come pre-assembled in these cups, which is fucking amazing. Um, all you do is add water and give it like three minutes in the microwave. It comes with the, you know, the cheese packets. You just add water to the line. So I got two of those in the microwave. I gave them like five minutes for two. It should come out nicely. Um, they're really convenient. Even, I mean, even sometimes I get too lazy to even make mac and cheese. So, and then plus the cheese, it's not even that high in fat. It's three grams of fat per, per each little bowl and 41 grams of carbs and even six grams of protein, so I'm just getting an extra 12 grams of protein in right there. So I just wanted to show that to you guys that when I'm following it up, following that Chipotle meal up with. And by the way, the Chipotle's brown rice is fucking disgusting. They do not ha know how to cook their brown rice. That shit was stiff as fuck. It was terrible. It's been getting a lot of questions on regards to how to do these feeder workouts. So after the last meal of the day, Right before you go to bed, you want to hit these feeder workouts, get that volume, get that blood pumping. So I just got done with my 27th meal of the day, and I'm going to hit my feeder workout before I hit the sack, okay? I'm just going to demonstrate how it's done. Guys think of playing around with these feeder workouts? Guess again. We're not stopping with one meal a day. We're not stopping with five meals a day. We're not stopping with 12 meals a day. 27 fucking meals a day. Whatever it takes to leave humanity behind. Come on!